no more GNS receiver, just a GPS tablet. Let's see how that works. Do you need a GNS receiver for GPS surveying? Well, normally what you see maybe somewhere down a project or the roadside, you see a guy like me or, another, or maybe a woman, also possible, with this kind of system. So what actually what we do see here is a, a GNS receiver, in this case I think it's a Spectra. You see them carrying a rod, a tablet holder and a rocket tablet. So what this land surveyor actually does, uh, this, this system itself, a bunch of this satellites. On top we have GPS, Galileo, Baidu, GLONASS and they send a signal down to this GNS receiver and from the GNS receiver it goes to the tablet. With the Ablo Survey Wizard, at that point of time, we have this nice screen and it actually tells me where I am with the RTK, which of course we need, and the coordinate system. In my case, because we're in Holland, I take the coordinate system for the Netherlands. And then the surveyor, okay, let's pretend I am the surveyor, can start surveying, for example, land. So, a land surveyor needs this complete kit but the most expensive part on this kit is the GNS receiver and Hanno is going to explain now how and what's inside actually this GNS receiver so this is a GNS receiver in this GNS receiver there are different parts and one of the main parts is the antenna and the antenna in this GNS receiver receives all the satellite signals and those satellite signals this antenna sends in this GNS receivers farther to the RTK module. The RTK module is another part in this GNS receiver and that part of this GNS receiver is calculating the exact position of this GNS receiver. Actually it determines the position of the antenna of this GNS receiver and that is like 13.4 centimeters above the bottom level. So with only the satellite signals this GNS receiver can't determine exactly the position. For that it also needs like corrections. The corrections can be sent from of course Eblos survey wizard but you can also connect it this GNS receiver since it has a radio inside with a base. So the base can send then the correction signals from that position with radio to this GNS receiver. Further only this GNS receiver has like a battery so that the complete GNS receiver is powered. But the question is do you need a GNS receiver to land survey with centimeter accuracy? Raymond will tell us more about that. So the most, most important things are the RTK module and the antenna. So let me show you now what we actually invented. Okay, first of all, a smaller bag. Yeah. And of course, the carbon rod. Let me connect it. One second. Do my best to go a little bit faster. <laughs> then, in my very tiny suitcase or bag, I have a rocket tablet. There's something different about it. This rocket tablet is called the Eplos Armor Pro. And within this bag, I also have a different antenna. Again, on top of the rod. And here we have the connector. I on and I connect the Rugged Tablet Pro, the Eblos Pro to the rod. And of course I have 
to connect it to the this looks quite different from the other one I showed you what we actually invented here is that uh, we took out the RTK module and placed it inside the tablet and with this wire we still have the antenna on top first thing I notice less weight I am going to press on on the Abloss Armor Pro so I started up the Abloss Server Wizard as you can see it's exactly the same with the Abloss Server Wizard layout then I'm going to press connect press connect here in Holland uh, we can use the server to uh, collect the RTK but in your case if you don't have this kind of uh, service you press Android device and you can enter your Ntrip data Again, I press on server then I press connect connecting so as you can see I almost immediately have an RTK and in this case already with 14 satellites and as I told you before everything you're going to measure or uh, survey you have to give it a name so you press the layer manager press push plus and say uh, okay for example a tree let's make it easy for today give it a color and trees are green press ok and as you can see it is added press again ok select besides the layer manager this zero and there you can see I have tree select tree go to a point where there used to be a tree I have a that uh, next to it I have an RTK 17 satellites and then I press point and as you can hear and I have to zoom in who got that as you can see it marks a spot near our beautiful location of castle listen you can also survey your plot of land with this beautiful kit and if you want to know how to survey a plot of land, please check this video on my left or my right side.